Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Tyler Reed. I'm the Manufacturing Applications Manager here at GoEngineer. And for this Friday afternoon webinar, we are going to discuss the newest material from Stratasys, the Antero 800NA. So the Antero 800NA is a PEC-based FDM thermoplastic that was announced by Stratasys uh, within the last four to six weeks and is due to start shipping July 1st of this year 2018. It's a really exciting material, uh, one that has been uh, kind of in demand for years now by industry and uh, people who have you know, a need for high performance materials. And finally, uh, we have it available. So we're going to go over a little bit about what it is, how it's different from some of the existing uh, high performance materials, and how to get your hands on it. As I mentioned, the demand for a PEC based material has been around for, for years, and it has sort of come out of the movement within industries, aerospace and automotive primarily, uh, a movement away from metals and towards polymers. There's several reasons for this, but two driving reasons are a want to reduce weight of parts and reduced overall cost of parts and cost to produce parts and ship parts and, and incorporate parts. You know, in general, you know, talking from a very broad perspective, metals tend to be heavier. Uh, they tend to be more costly to manufacture and they tend to require more labor and time. Uh, to produce parts. Plastics, plastics have some advantage in these areas. You know, they tend to be lighter weight. With FDM technology specifically, we can do sparse infills and, and really compound that weight savings. In general, they're less expensive to produce and to ship and to incorporate into your designs. Plastics offer greater design flexibility in general and again this is compounded when we start using additive manufacturing also plastics tend to have a broad uh, resistance to corrosion and chemical resistance and things of that nature especially once we start talking about materials from the peak family so out of this movement comes antero 800na as i mentioned it is a pec based material as opposed to peak or other uh, peak family components. The characteristics that define PEC are a high chemical resistance, high temperature resistance, uh, really ultra low outgassing properties, very good wear resistance, and also fire and radiation resistance. When we are looking at how to convert parts from conventional manufacturing to additive manufacturing, one of the very first hurdles we have to jump over is material availability. You have parts that are high requirement parts, strict requirement parts, and you really can't circumvent those. So the materials have to be up to the challenge. That's why Stratasys has invested a lot of money and a lot of time into material research over the last few years, and, and we are getting better and better materials. I dare say this Antero material is the best yet because it's got a broad range of resistances and, and uh, highly sought after uh, material properties. I have no mention of the strength in that list, but it's the strongest material that we have available to us today. Uh, that's generally available. So what sort of applications are we going to see? Uh, you know, in all reality, production parts are uh, a possibility for this Antero material. Antero is generally going to be used for high value parts in aerospace and automotive. These are parts where the OEMs and the third parties, you know, any pound or ounce they can shave from their design has cost saving implications down the road. So when you have companies like Boeing and Airbus, and Airbus reducing one pound from an aircraft, 
or from a satellite has real cost saving implications. Prototypes, of course, being able to functionally test parts and manufacturing aids, jigs and fixtures, clean room components, jigs and fish fixtures, especially in scenarios where the parts are in a harsh environment, you know, exposed to fuels, solvents, petroleum based chemicals, things of that nature. And Taro is going to hold up a lot better than something like ABS or polycarbonate and even the ultimate materials. It's it's our most chemically resistant material available to us in the FDM world. So what are you going to need in your shop to get Antero parts? Right now, starting July 1st, it's going to be available on the Fortis 450, which is our high heat uh, production series machine, pictured there. as a build envelope of 16 inches by 14 inches by 16 inches. And this machine also is going to be able to print Ultim and, and some other high performance materials. And Tero 800NA will be available on the Fortis 900MC platform uh, later this year. So specifically the Fortis 400, when you are outfitting this, you are selecting material groups. And I have the groups listed here. You have your standard group with the ABS and the ASA. You have your engineering group of materials with polycarbonate and nylon 12. And Taro is being added to the high performance group. So this includes your Ultim 1010, your Ultim 985, your nylon 12 carbon filled, and now also the Antero 800NA. So if you are already a high performance package owner, you will have access immediately to the Antero 800NA material. This is a little bit of a busy slide, but there are some comparisons that I felt like I needed to make here. So what you see here are the Ultim 1010 and the Ultim 9085 being compared alongside the Antero 800NA. So up until just very recently, the Ultim 1010 was what I would consider the flagship material for Stratasys. It had great strength characteristics, great stiffness, it had incredible heat resistance, and it was very widely used for production parts, prototypes, and tooling. Now with the Antero 800, it really is not so clear what the flagship material is now. We have a, a, an assortment of high-performance thermoplastics that all have kind of different capabilities. So you see listed here, you know, the mechanical strength in the XZ plane and, and the vertical plane um, are superior for the Antero material. The thermal, thermal, thermal characteristics are comparable. You have a lower heat deflection temperature, but the actual melting point is, is a differentiator for Antero. And then outgassing. Um, all three materials actually exceed NASA's vacuum outgassing requirements, which mean all of them are going to be um, candidates for uh, low pressure or vacuum situations. And Tero 800NA is going to lie somewhere in between the Ultim 1010 and the Ultim 9085 blends. This should really excite people in the aerospace industry. In any other industry where you're looking for, you know, the performance of aluminum uh, without the cost and the headache of implementing an aluminum part and kind of interested in the benefit of having a lighter weight version of an aluminum part. Traditionally, PEC has had some challenges. It is available in, you know, stock shapes and sizes. Uh, it's generally purchased in rod form or billet form and machine down to size, but while the demand is relatively high for PEC, there are very limited options for stock shapes and sizes. With the ability to 3D print a near net shape part and then machine any critical surfaces if required, gives designers a lot more flexibility in their implementation of this material. I think this is really going to increase the adoption of PEC 
in general and reduce the cost for implementing PEC in all cases. Most PEC parts are very customized and low volume parts which align perfectly with the benefits of additive manufacturing. Also by implementing PEC through AM, we're going to reduce the production time and reduce the amount of machining used. This is my last slide here and I just want to touch a little bit on you know, the primary industries that we see being good candidates for the Antero material. You know, by no means is this exhaustive, but I really want to set the tone for this material in that it is a high performance material. It's not your standard everyday ABS or ASA. So what that means for you is that it's going to open up new doors to new applications and new industries that previously had written off additive manufacturing as a viable solution. So aerospace is a big one. You know, any parts that are exposed to cleaning chemicals like mech, this is a good candidate. Fuels, hydraulic fluids, high temperatures. The chemical resistance of Antero is, is game changing in many ways. Uh, so typical parts you might see are clips and brackets, radomes, um, which is an interesting application, um, production ducting, and high requirement tooling. When it comes to space, I anticipate seeing Antero material being launched into space on uh, vehicles and satellites. You know, Stratasys does have a material available through their special materials group, which is a uh, ESD ABS blend with PEC and Ulton. So it's kind of a, you could call it a, a polymer alloy of sorts. And that's being used in space applications right now, but the cost to implement that is extremely high. Antero 800 is going to be a lot more um, cost effective and more generally available. And it's going to be a good um, solution, especially for use cases where you don't actually need the electrostatic dissipated properties. Space comes with high temperatures and low temperatures the PEC material is going to, to do great in this sort of scenario. Bringing it back down to earth, industrial manufacturing, oil and gas and motorsports, these are all great candidates for the Antero material. Um, again, we have a lot of exposure to chemicals and high temperatures in all of these applications. So when it comes to custom tooling or testing jigs and fixtures, um, under the hood, components for prototyping and, and high value applications. I'm really looking forward to seeing what our customers do with this material. So this was just a short, uh, you know, Friday afternoon, quick introduction to the Antero material. It, it is not released yet to the general uh, public. So we have, you know, kind of limited use cases available to us right now. We do have a few here and there with the beta uh, users, but we'll be able to talk more about those once it starts shipping here in about a week and a half. So I want to thank you guys for joining. I, I hope you're excited as I am about this newest material. I think it's a good uh, sign and it's, it, it's a move in the right direction for Stratasys, you know, bringing out more high performance materials to the to the general market and really opening up the doors to more applications for additive manufacturing in aerospace and automotive and industrial manufacturing and uh, in a, a whole world of other high performance applications. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on, in the YouTube links or shoot me an email at tread.goengineer.com. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you for joining and have a great weekend.